<laughs> hey everybody, it's been a while since we've had a chat with Draven mm -hmm. in his high chair, so I figured we'd have a little talk. What are you eating there, Mr. Draven? Is that corn? You got corn? Oh, wow. How many teethies do you have? Let's see. Let me see, let me see the teethies. He never wants to show the teethies. Well, he has six. Or more. He won't let me into his mouth. He insists upon brushing his own teeth, too, so he's Mr. Independent. And we have some... Whoop. Who's going first? You? do 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 um. And we're having some rice cereal, too. Keeping it casual tonight. I didn't feel like giving him a big extravagant meal. <clears throat> he is snacking a lot more during the day um, of solid foods rather than puree. So, I don't know. He doesn't really have that big of a dinner. Um, he used to have a bigger dinner, but he wasn't eating as much solid food. But I do try to fill him up so he can make it through the night, <clears throat> even though he still doesn't. It's not because he's actually hungry, he just likes his bottle. And he's very hard to break of that. He's not very good at putting himself to sleep on his own, so he needs the bottle and he won't take a pacifier, so he basically just likes, you know, his bottle. <laughs> so. That's what he wants. What else is going on, baby? Mmm, corn. Yum. You like the corn? You like anything, huh? Yesterday, I gave him tuna for the first time. They said that he could have that type of fish when he's eight months old and he's almost ten months old and the reason I waited is I don't really like fish <laughs> so I was kinda not wanting to feed it to him but I didn't really have to prepare any you know I didn't really have to prepare tuna so it wasn't that bad but he did okay with it he kind of like choked and gagged on it and I thought he was having a bad reaction or something but I think it was just the texture is a little too much for him so but he didn't hate it, so that was good. Um, but I don't know if we're gonna try anything else, any other type, any other types of fish. Anyway, um, I don't really know how or like to make fish because I don't eat it. But I don't know. Maybe salmon would be a better texture or something. Um, he can only have a really little bit. It's not supposed to be a daily meal. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. That's mine. Yum. Mom. <laughs> Yum. So, yeah, there's that. And, um, what else is going on? It's almost going to be Thanksgiving. What do you think about Thanksgiving? Do you want to have turkey? Do you want to have sweet potatoes? Hold on, son. You've got a hair. Sorry about that. Do you want to have pumpkin pie? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to have mashed potatoes? Do you want to have ham? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to have stuffing? Not sure about the stuffing, huh? <laughs> no, it's not baby stuffing, like stuff that babies are made of. It's stuffing like bread stuffing. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty excited about that. He looked at me crazy about the stuffing. He's like, what do you mean, stuffing? He did something 
very cool today. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Tired. Um, he did something cool today. I got him those set of different color balls. Uh -huh. And they're pretty much all over the house now. And I said, hey, Draven, go get me the orange balls. Get me two orange balls. And I told him that a couple times. And he just like went off and was playing in his little play area and I kind of forgot about it and then about f 10 minutes later he brought me two orange balls <laughs> so it took him a little while because I guess he got distracted he's like oh yeah mom wanted the orange balls <laughs> he's like why do you want these balls I don't understand they're mine um so that was pretty cool like that he knows what orange ball is he knows where it is and he knows what bring it to me means so that's pretty pretty cool huh where are those orange balls now Bed. you know where they are you know where every ball in this house is Bed. nobody else does cuz you hide them rah nope um so yeah that's pretty cool and I've been wanting to take him to this play group at a local church um, on Mondays but it's from 10 a.m. to 10:45 on Mondays and <laughs> excuse me that is exactly when his nap time is and I suppose I could change his nap time um, I'd probably have to change it for every day of the week or maybe I should just go that day and see if he can make it 45 minutes and then sleep in the car or something like that. But that's why I, I'm concerned and haven't taken him uh, to play. And also, I don't know what my luck is with cars. Because my last car that I had had problems with the thermostat and water pump and just the cooling system overall. And now Mr. Draven's van is having the exact same issue. It's either the thermostat or the water pump. I'm pretty sure it's the water pump, but probably just get both of them replaced, which is not a cheap repair um, and not something I can afford to do any time in the next week or two for sure, um, probably longer um, since I don't make that much money anymore. So, and we have the holidays coming up, so it's kind of a bad time. And this was the exact same time last year that my other car started having those problems. But I was pregnant, mm -hmm. so it was really stressful because uh, it was the towards the end of my pregnancy where I would have more frequent doctor's appointments. And so, yeah. And now, um, having the same problem again. <laughs> so, I don't know what it is. It's probably because it's so hot in Florida and you know, like 10 months out of the year that it's just too much for those cars to handle in the cooling system. Mm -hmm. So, and it is an older car, so I expected there to be problems. I didn't figure it would be the exact same problem, though. So, anyway, my point is uh, we're going to be very limited driving places. Um, so, kind of bummed out about that. And I really don't trust mechanics, so that stresses me out too because I'm always afraid of being ripped off because it's happened before. They see me coming a mile away. So, <clears throat> kind of worried about getting it fixed for a reasonable, fair price. Um, so, bummer. So, we'll just be lying low and uh, trying to save up money for that and also simultaneously save up money for Thanksgiving, Bear's birthday. Christmas. Draven's birthday. Yeah. And a wedding. So, yeah. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff, huh? <gasps> Are you almost done? You have no corn. You have like four kernels of corn. Well, I guess that means we're almost finished. We have very little rice cereal left. Do you want to say bye bye? You want to yeah. say bye-bye? Bye-bye. 
You can't wave yet? All right. That's cool. Say I love you. Love you. Love. Love you. Yeah. Good boy. Bye, everybody.